Hey everybody, this is a Land Rover Defender 110 and I'm going to install um, the cargo liner and the first and second row mats uh, from WeatherTech uh, in, the, uh, in the SUV. So, as you see, I have uh, this open area. This is a, this come, this 110 has the third row uh, passenger seats. I don't use them all the time. And uh, when I'm not using them, I like to protect the uh, the cargo area. I went to Land Rover, and uh, their cargo liners didn't have a lip that that goes around the edge in case you spill something. So uh, I'll show you what I have here. Uh, so this is I just got this in the mail, and it does have the lip, which is great. And uh, as you can see, it has a little cutouts for. Uh, uh, if you want to strap anything, I'll show you inside. So let's put it, let's install it real quick. So, so it goes in pretty well. And, and uh, there was, a lot of people, if they don't have um, a mat or anything, you can slip your phone or other things back there. And it's a little hard to get on some models. Uh, fortunately for this one, it has the, 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 the second row's seats go up so you can get things out. But if you don't have a third row option, um, it's a little harder to get to. So here it is. The mat's pretty easy to, uh, to install. Looks like it goes in there pretty well. You can cut these little, you can cut these little pieces out if you want. Uh, to, to show the, uh, the strap on area and yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, next I'm going to show you the first and second row uh, mats that I got. Okay, I got the, uh, the front and the second row WeatherTech uh, mats. As you can see, they're brand new. I'm about to install them right now. So uh, we'll start with the, uh, the passenger side. setup. They use the factory uh, buttons here too. And there you go. Very nice. Probably needs to settle in. There's a little gap here but once it after a couple days it'll, it'll mold a little bit better. So very nice. Okay I'm gonna put the driver's side in. Same thing. Got two buttons here. It snaps right in. That looks really nice. Now the uh, the OEM uh, Land Rover uh, rubber mats. They they look good on the front, but they don't have the lip. They don't come with the lip on the second row. So we're gonna install that next. longer one big piece actually the um, the Land Rover the OEM uh, rubber mats oops I had that backwards the OEM rubber mats they uh, they're two pieces they come in two pieces so this WeatherTech one's much better so I have kids and we have spills this is going to be a lot better. It's going to that's going to that's going to um, settle in in a little bit, but it covers a lar the largest part of the area. Really nice. I'm going to so these two snapped in, and I'm going to go in the other side and snap in the other side. Sorry for the shaky video. Okay, there we go. Nice and clean. A lot of good protection. I put the, uh, the OEM carpet mats uh, uh, in the storage. They're still new, so I'll get those out when I, if I had to sell the car, I'll, I'll install those so everything looks really new. Um, that's it. And then, oh, I made, I got this on Amazon. It's like a waterproof uh, cover, and uh, I cut some holes and sewed it. It kind of custom made a, 
a fabric cover for the kids. And I'm gonna install two, uh, two zippers going down. So um, uh, this middle seat can drop all the way down if needed. Um, that's it, thank you.